Um, also, let's talk about like taking risks. First, before I ask that though, would you jump out of a plane? Yeah. You would? Mm -hmm. I think I asked you that. Okay, I know Chris was saying he wasn't with it. Uh, as long as I have a parachute. Of course. Yeah, of course, of course, <laughs> <laughs> of course. What I mean, if, <laughs> it's, I if the plane is on the ground, I might jump out without the parachute. I, I, would, I would definitely, I would yeah. definitely jump out of a plane. Um, will I jump out of a plane? Um, like I saw you do. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. I would. <laughs> I would want it to be a special moment. Mm -hmm. Um, which is I've always had the dream of going to Dubai. Okay. So I do want to go and jump out of a plane in Dubai when I do visit and watch. And well, let me know. That. I'm coming to jump too. Oh yeah. I, I want to keep jumping only in our ask that because I think. We put limitations on ourselves. Mm. I think we've been afraid, like different people have been afraid to obviously jump out of a plane, go swimming, things like that. I think these certain stigmas have been put on us or even by default been put on us at the end of the day. So it's like I did that in a sense of like because I, I'm not I have no limitations, like even with myself. And this is why evolving through experience is so important, because as I've grown mm -hmm. in every aspect, I understand like. I can't limit myself in any capacity. I can't play with my potential in any capacity. If I feel like I want to do something, I just have to do it. No making excuses. No letting other people t talk me out of it. Because I had a lot of people like, yo, why would you want to jump out of a plane? Why not? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. why not? Like, why would I put this limitation because somebody else is scared? I'm here to show you that no matter where you are in life, that you can... I ain't going to say it's like just my responsibility, but mm -hmm. I want to show people no matter where you are in life that... You can take these limits. These, you can take these limits and restrictions off of yourself, and then I promise you, the feeling is a lot different. Jumping out of mm -hmm. a plane, like I promise you, I feel inevitable. Like it's like I could kind of see the whole world, and it was a beautiful feeling, bro. And it was so peaceful up there. It's like it's like so quiet. Your your mm -hmm. thing is loud, but it's like so quiet. And you're just watching the world, <laughs> like just peaceful, bro. The real the real experience um, that people pre pretty much are having is thinking that you jump by yourself mm -hmm. and they don't understand that you had a coach and a mentor yeah. and people training you mm. throughout that process on what to do and what not to do. And, you know, it's, it might be an example of jumping out of a plane, mm -hmm. but it can be something as little as just leaving a relationship that might be jumping out of a plane. It may get yeah. them that same mm. feeling. So nah, that in that sucks. situation, you just get a little bit more information. You yeah. find a coach, you find somebody to look at, you mm -hmm. find somebody to jump with you. Yeah. You know, nah, you know, I like that perspective. Situation. Appreciate that. I like that. <laughs> I like that correlation. Appreciate it. Nah, for sure. Um, what I wanted to just double back with is also I just want to say shout out to Nipsey because um Nipsey Nipsey really inspired a lot of things I've I've done and did. That's amazing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to meet him, although he did follow me on IG. I kind of felt like wow. yeah, he still followed me that's to this amazing. day. So I, I think that's why I won't delete my IG. But I think that's also a reason why I I have to keep going with this mm -hmm. because. The level of inspiration he's given me, even obviously before his, his death, because I used to listen to Nipsey when I was like young. I was listening to Nipsey before I even knew like everything he was saying that's before beautiful. it was digesting. And I think that's also why the one of the reasons why I go by equity now, because mm. I know um, when he was speaking about it on Mailbox Money, he was like, yo, these companies, they they going for equity. It's like, and I stuck with them. Like, and I just started calling myself equity and mm. then started getting it. And it's like, I'm understanding it more. So I definitely want to say shout out to him. And the reason I said that, because also I think the reason I went for the million dollar life insurance policy, because mm -hmm. I could have went for a cheaper one uh, yeah. on top of everything else I have. But it was just like when he said million dollar life insurance so on my flesh, I was like, yeah, I got to go with Nipsey said. I, I can't I can't even go half step. If Nip said a million dollars, I'm going for a million. I, I might I might upgrade it and go for another one. because I think they got another one for not too much more for like one point seven. Mm. And I'm like. Somebody's like, yo, why, why are you getting so much? I'm like, I don't plan on leaving, but if I do, at least everybody's straight, right? <laughs> like, I don't plan on leaving. It's more about the confidence. Yeah. It's more about the, like, like, hey, listen, like, I really did that for my family yeah, type stuff. Yeah, for you sure. Know? Like, you working hard. Don't mm -hmm. nobody care about your credit score like that. No, nah, facts. Your family don't care. Like, you can't even use it no yeah. more. Yeah, right? can't use it. Can't do nothing with it. They don't care about, about your business. Mm -hmm. Your kids, you know, you you hope that your kids, you could, you could build a business and pass mm -hmm. it on, but your kids don't want your business they want your money yeah i keep trying to let these people understand that. yeah they do not care about your business if my parent is doing something i don't want to do i'm not going to do it yeah that don't a mean, different world. yeah and i don't mean a bad thing though uh, would you or do you disagree if the, the kid don't want it like if i build up a billion obviously we building a billion dollar company so mm -hmm. we get to a point and our kids don't want it do you feel like you'll feel away well i hope hopefully you built it enough to where it, it, runs it, it can still pilot. make money for the family okay so okay, I agree. That, okay, that's, I that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, you know, like I look at uh, families like the Johnson and Johnson family. Mm -hmm. They don't run their company. Yeah, they they're still making money off of it, and yeah. they're still majority shareholders, and they're still owning it. <laughs> right, that's good enough. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs>
Okay, now nah, we're going to do a quick commercial, Project Prevail. Um, Project Prevail is obviously just a uh, under ET brand, under the Evolving Through Experience brand, where every percentage, a percentage of every all sales go back to people in need. So in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, I did one with um, Tamika Mallory organization. And I do this because at the end of the day, instead of making excuses for why other organizations or other people are not helping our community or people in general, not even just our community, when things happen. I know American Red Cross will get a hundred billion or a hundred million and only give out a million dollars to what they just raised a hundred million for. So instead of complaining about it and instead of letting them make excuses about it, I started Project Prevail under Evolving Through Experience brand. So anytime somebody shops the brand, supports the brand, revenue comes in from merch, we're giving a percentage of it back and it's going to be an ongoing process. And it's not just me saying I'm going to do it. I already done it. So at the end of the day, I have the receipts evolving through experience project prevail. Make sure y'all go shop the brand at evolving through experience.com. All right, bro. Back to the episode. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So now, um, I know like I said, we already went over the, the policies as mm -hmm. far as like what, what somebody could pay for it. Um, also what the, um, if a lot of people got it and I, like I said, you definitely gave a great, great perspective on the entire process, even thinking beyond that. And that's what it's about thinking beyond just the surface level, always mm -hmm. taking it to a next step. And like I said, this is life or death. We can't even play with our health. We can't play with how, how we going about business on a daily basis. So just in your own words, what does evolving through experience mean to you? Evolving through experience means that you're utilizing the tools that you have. Mm. Like a lot of people, I'm, I'm reading this book, it's called The Law of um, Recognition. The Law of Recognition. It means that you're okay. recognizing what you have and not sitting here like, oh, I don't have mm -hmm. this and I don't have that. You're, you're recognizing the things that you really need to get you where you, where you want to go is already yeah. there. So mm -hmm. evolving through experience means that you're taking chances. It means that you're, rec you're recognizing everything mm -hmm. um, that you need to take you to the next level and that you are so confident to the point to where you don't allow that experience to stop you. So when mm -hmm. I when I hear evolving through experience, I'm like, that's that's dope. No Cause, brainer. Because you in a situation. I mean, yeah. life is gonna happen. Yeah. It's big or small, life is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But you're evolving. Every single situation is allowing you to grow. It's allowing you to go. I wake up every day. I say go time, grow time. Mm -hmm. Every grow day. time or go time. Go time, go grow time. I, I like the that. second one is grow time because okay. we're growing. Yeah, facts. I might see a text piss me off. I'm like, listen, go time, go time. Let's go. <laughs> facts. I like that. <laughs> nah, bro. I think I think you just said it in the perfect way. I, and I I was asked, I asked everybody that that comes on because it's no wrong answer to this. Mm. It, it's no, you know, everybody says no right or wrong. It's no wrong answer. Evolving through experience in every aspect, no matter what you've been through, you you learn from it. Whether you realize it at that moment or not, eventually you will learn from it. Whatever you're currently going through, you can get through. And that's why I share stories about men, women, and no matter what the situation is, I've been able to share stories about them overcoming molestation at the a young mm -hmm. age of eight, rape at uh, in school or whatever it may be. And it's not just, like I said, to focus on the traumatic situations, or but it's more of the focus, like, how was you able to overcome this? Because it's a million other people, unfortunately, that's dealing with that. But I also say not unfortunately because it's like, now, most of the people that I have spoken to, they was like, they learned so much from it. They grew so much from it. It's like, they wouldn't change it. Exactly. And, and that takes a lot to say that for certain situations that I've spoken with people about. Mm -hmm. So for you to say that, it's like, it's obviously got to be some real substance in it. Mm -hmm. You obviously have had to be impacted for the better to prevail your life to where it is now for the better. Because most people in that one situation probably didn't feel that way. But with time and evolving and processing, you get to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's about, bro. So I, I appreciate you sharing that because that that's such a big, big, important role at the end of the day. Mm. So for a kid um, straight out of high school or currently in high school, what would you recommend for them as far as taking their life to the next level? And not even just a financial, but more of like mental because, you know, in school and college, I mean, not even college, but high school, I know for me personally to be transparent, it's like trying to figure out what's next. I knew entrepreneurship was the route, but... I didn't know w how to get to that, how to how to get the car started type thing. Mm -hmm. So, what would you recommend for somebody like that? Um, for especially my people, like mm -hmm. when I when I graduated, I was angry, bro. Mm -hmm. I was so angry, um, mm -hmm. because it seems like I didn't have as many options. Like I wasn't academically gifted mm -hmm. or no stuff like that. According so, to their standards, according to these people's <laughs> standards or whatever. Yeah. Um, because you're a legend. I, only thing I <laughs> I, I had 
as an option was the military, right? And it was just the best thing that I could see at the moment. Like, mm-hmm. I looked at every other experience that everybody was, I was, I was like, listen, I can go to the military for mm-hmm. 20 years. Everybody working 40 years, I can retire at 20 years. Mm-hmm. And that was the experience that was, that was exposed to me mm-hmm. until I got to a point to where it was just like, you know, like we use this saying called jump off the porch. Like, when you when you graduate high school, you was already nervous, but like, once you really cross across, yeah. walk across the stage, it's over with. Mm-hmm. So, if I was in a position where I was to go back, I would jump off the porch a lot faster because mm-hmm. you were, you realize that you could put yourself in a position to where you can collapse decades into days if you just figure out every experience now. Mm-hmm. Like, be in a situation to where you try to experience a little bit of something now. Mm-hmm. And you don't need an age. You don't need a degree to try to figure that out. And I did that by reaching out to some people on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And that person on Instagram, you know what they did? They, they said, hey, listen, come to this meeting with me. And I was in a room with a guy. He black. said, I make a hundred and sixty thousand dollars a month changed my life mm-hmm. when i looked at that that uh army contract and they wanted me to sign that expired in 2029 hmm. i said listen i just met a guy <laughs> he made and sixty thousand yeah. dollars a month what mm-hmm. you talking about and he yeah. was in a suit and he wasn't no preacher and no prophet mm-hmm. so i'm like yo like i need to do what he doing and it changed my whole entire life so right, the more it's, like for, for some people that may not be the wake-up call for you yeah but you better go jump off the porch as fast as possible. So you can see, find so your you way can, to So you can find your way. Because yeah. if you don't get that joy, like, I was like, yo, this is the way. And I didn't even see, like, I was so blinded by that mm-hmm. one thing to where I couldn't even see the next steps that yeah. I was I was about to take. Yeah. So if I, was, if I was to go back, I would tell people, well, I, I mean, I did it. I would, I would tell people, like, yo, try to figure something, something out. out. Don't just go based on what your mama or your daddy said you should do. They don't know mm-hmm. what they talk about. It's 2023. Yeah, it's a different time. Everything has changed. Yeah. Nothing is the same. Not one thing mm-hmm. is the same. Nothing. Everything has changed. Food has changed. People have changed. By the day at that, and it's still changing. <laughs> Technology changed. I mean, nothing is the same. So I'm not saying don't utilize your parents' advice, mm-hmm. but don't be don't be a dummy yeah. and think that's, that the same knowledge <laughs> from 20, 40 years ago still applies in 2023. No way. You're already losing by, by thinking like that, and I'm so glad you said that because at the end of the day, that that's a major fact that it's one, it's intentional. Mm-hmm. It's intentional that they put this in, this all they show you, knowing that on the back end, it's people make like you said, making that in a, in a month, but then it's people making t- 10 times that in a day. And it's just like, the more obviously we getting exposed it's and meeting smart. these people, it's just like, bro, it's like, you, we have the same potential. Why why have we been taught that we don't have this potential or even been exposed to it for all this time? Mm-hmm. Like I said, but we know that's intentional, so we don't even have to elaborate on why it's intentional, but that exposure, like you said, is vital. And that's actually one of my favorite quotes or um, things that Nipsey said, like jumping off the, the deep end without the life jacket. Mm. And that's why, like, that's even also, like I said, going back to why I jumped out the plane, it's like, obviously I ain't gonna jump out without the life jacket. I'm gonna be <laughs> smart. And I had life insurance at that time, so I know they'll be straight regardless. But um, just well, you like, know, yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna say too much. I, 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 you know, I, I know, I know. You know, it's provisions. I, I, yeah, yeah, I know. You can't I know, go jump out the plane and get paid. I know, now. I, I know, want y'all I know. to think that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. Let me say that. Uh, let me say that because I do not want to get the wrong image out. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for saying that. That's why he the life insurance. He, he the expert. But no, but um, back to what I was saying. But just like, like I said, just taking that risk. The same way you're saying jumping off the porch. That was what Nip meant by saying jumping out without the life jacket, mm-hmm. without trying to be scared about it like go take that risk go 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 meet this person go mm-hmm. to that event go go sign up for this course and, and, and take your chances because what's the other option it, it's military dead, or, 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 or or death <laughs> it's life or death you ain't living you die <laughs> it's life or death the other option is death either you're gonna jump off the porch or you're gonna die and die doesn't necessarily only mean physical. Mm. It's people out here dying mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And that's the thing I said we're evolving through experience. We're trying to evolve all that. So I know I started this off with just mental, but bro, it's so much bigger than that. And that's even why I went vegan cold turkey because mm. it's like, I can't play with this at all. I can't have step this and still want to evolve. It's like, it's evol- It's life or death. Mm. It's, it's no in between for me. Mm. So that's also like why I said I went vegan because look, bro, it's evolving through experience. And it's nothing else. <laughs> There's nothing else. Just try it out. Yeah. You said say it again? I did it. I mean, I tried oh, it Oh, yeah, out. yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying everybody got to go vegan, but just for me, it was just like, bro, like, and I said it because I'm, I'm losing family. I just, I just lost a family Monday, bro. Mm. Like, and it's just like, we mm. got to take care of our health or it's nothing else. And like I said, it's, it's all aspects. It's all every aspect from down to what we eating, what we thinking, 
who we around, what we putting on our bodies, we have to grow. And I'm not saying I got it all together. And I want to make sure it, people know. What was the cause? If you mind me asking. It, um, that was, I don't want to quote it wrong, but I think this got like some type of sickness or cancer. I don't want to quote it wrong though, but um, either way, it was health health problems though, unfortunately. So, not to get off topic, but Yo, how hey, many yeah. percentage of my clients do you think qualify? Qualify for life insurance? I would say about 20. I've, I've met with over a thousand clients in the last year. Maybe 20%. I would say 30%, 30 to 40% of those people, don't. they don't qualify. Mm, only 60 qualify, okay. 60% of them qualify. Mm, I was low, okay. And the reason being is because of these health issues. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about something that's very, very important. And I think that people should understand it's something called a medical report, right? Mm -hmm. Your MIB report. Yeah. And your know, MIB yeah. is so important. I've seen it destroy a lot of people's lives. Because it's, an MIB report is not like a credit report mm -hmm. where you can just wipe some things off. <laughs> Whatever you say to whoever has a doctor in front of their name, they put on that medical. It don't even matter if that doctor sit here and say, hey, listen, I think you should take this. If they open their mouth and say you should take that medicine, it goes directly on your medical, medical report, even if you don't you're in a situation it. you don't take it. So when the these companies, they look at your medical report, and even if a doctor said you should take it, they look at that. They don't care if you took it or not. Mm. I've had a client, right? It was the craziest, craziest situation ever. He was... 30 something years old in a situation where he got a therapist. Some mm. people in his parent, uh, his family passed away. And he told his therapist, he was like, man, I just been drinking alcohol a lot more over the last mm. week or two. Sure. Do you know they put on his medical record as if he has an alcohol addiction? Wow. And he said it to his therapist. He didn't say it to a doctor. Or uh, uh, yeah. In and the doctor's office. Crazy. They put that on his medical record. Mm. And he's denied for insurance. That's crazy. Because I, I was I thought the only time they had to report something was when you said you want to kill yourself or suicide. Or, <laughs> so, but I'm not surprised at the no. same time. They That's crazy. Report everything. I'm that medical surprised. report is so powerful to the point where I know people that make enough money to where they say, listen, I don't deal with doctors that report stuff. They say, mm -hmm. listen, pull up at the house if you're trying to meet meet me. Tell yeah, the doctor to come to the house. Yeah. And it's the reason why. There's certain people out here that, that has cancer. Mm -hmm. And when they get diagnosed with cancer, you know where they're going. The doctor is coming to their home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I'm not, I don't even think I'm supposed to be saying, but the doctor comes yeah, to the yeah. home. We ain't saying no They names. do all the treatments. <laughs> yeah. Right. But guess what? It gets that, that, that information will go to the, the medical report. Sure. So that's how powerful certain things are, mm. um, especially with these institutions. Like you can get a $10 million policy, but I mean, that <laughs> premium is going to be something crazy. It's going to be crazy if they find out that something is wrong. So. Yeah. It's very, oh, very you can go back and try to they could try to get it back. Okay, very important. All right. right. Well, appreciate that insight, bro. Like like I said, that's why I wanted to have you on here. And we I know you're not saying that to scare people away, mm -hmm. but that goes back to instead of being reactive, be proactive. Take care of your body. Work mm -hmm. out. Think better. Drink better in every aspect. Who you dealing with? Who who you allowing access your energy? And that goes back because at that point, it don't even have to touch a record like that. But mm -hmm. even with that being said, we not saying that to scare you all from getting life insurance. Life insurance is very vital. And life insurance, like you said, it, it doesn't just matter, not just life, but how you thinking, what, what's the plan after your family gets this? This is still life. That's mm -hmm. continuing on life That's for right. the next generation. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad you said that. I appreciate that insight. Um, what I wanted to ask you, what's the, what's the plan for the next five, ten years from now? Five to years. Um, I'm building one of the largest insurance brokerages. Okay. Um, we're not just focused on life. We're mm -hmm. focused on health. We're focused on corporate insurance. Um, we're focused on car insurance. Mm -hmm. Focus on truck insurance. I mean, everything that you could think of has some type of insurance aspect. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you're in a situation where I, I mean, I sit down with people. They have employees. Mm -hmm. We we are now um in a transition where we're going to travel across the country and we're going to convert. 401ks mm -hmm. to an insurance policy because of the interest that's that people are earning is very competitive yeah um in the next 30 40 years for people so we are you know we're working so nah, i got i got here. some softwares that i'm able to um that i have that i'm able to allow a person to own an insurance company mm -hmm. right just like you can purchase a franchise mm -hmm. without having a license without having to yeah. sell person to person you just utilize your brand or you just utilize your money so I have a company that literally could build an insurance company for from scratch. Yeah, and you could never even have a have to have a license. license you have an insurance yeah. company. So yeah, and I know I've seen that before about a lot of people. You don't even have to be a doctor to even be in healthcare. 
So it's just like you don't really have to be a get a PhD. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of like you said, knowing these things, knowing the right and, people. Yeah, and that's why I had. I'm glad to have you on, bro, because under this brand, like. It's going to be, I'm going to have life insurance. I'm going to have insurance under it. I think life insurance will be my focus, mm-hmm. but it's going to be insurance under here because, again, evolving is in all these aspects. Like mm-hmm. you said, there's no area in life where you don't need insurance or you don't want it. Mm-hmm. So why would I not put that under the brand? So with that being said, I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but we might just be like the the, the affiliate under yours, mm-hmm. and we just funnel them no, to you. you no, the, you got to fund you, you the had your billion. own company. Yeah, yeah, but so, I'm, well, somebody else going to run it. That's the thing, because we're going to be somebody doing a lot, else, but we'll, we'll find the somebody to run it. We'll yeah. find, you know what I'm saying? We'll, man, we'll be like the, the property manager yeah. of everything, make call sure everything runs smooth. Well, yeah, bro. Got that, your own insurance that, company. That, that's the plan, bro. <laughs> Evol- evolving through experience, insurance coming real soon. Hey, on the way. Stop playing. <laughs> All the way. Let's for go. real. We're not even playing with that. Where can people follow you at? Connect with um, you. Right now, my main base is uh, Instagram, okay. Facebook, um, YouTube, uh, It's Keylock, or you can just type Kian Edwards. Okay. Um, that's on The one with everywhere. the blue check. Okay. Just fact. Just we'll, put, <laughs> we'll put that everywhere the at the bottom. The blue check. Check, of course, um, I'll put it in the description. You know, great fifteen ninety nine investment. Okay. But uh, <laughs> Where, how do um, you feel about that? Real quick, um, I think it was a smart business play. But, I think it was but, a smart but, business but play on our end as well. Okay, so it allows so like people. What people don't understand is like we're in a world right now where you got to pay to play mm-hmm. for everything. Yeah, agree. Your algorithms are gonna change when you pay the fifteen ninety nine. Mm. Your algorithms will change when you start paying ads. So like, if you think for one second that you're going to just go out here and just, you know, just get your name out there for free. The platform may be for free, but the exposure isn't. Always mm-hmm. remember that. That's a so bar right there. Anytime I have an opportunity to invest in my business, I'm about to make it happen. No so the people that's like, oh, forget it. Like, it's that pride, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If somebody say, hey, listen, uh, I, I can pay this to, you know, make this happen, I'm going to pay it. Yeah. Because I understand the the value. The real value in it, You yeah. thinking of it as a cost. Yeah. I'm looking at the value. Yeah. So I, the blue check is just one thing that they're coming out with. Yeah. They're imagine all, if you don't pay the fifteen ninety nine and you got a business. Yeah. Imagine when they come out with something else. What what I did like another perspective that uh, obviously EYL put out. Shout out to to EYL. Shout out to AB and everybody. Um, what Rashad was saying was that that was cool, not knocking it, but in a sense of what I would pay for is exposure to all your followers. So mm-hmm. if you have a million followers, you know, like you said, the algorithm changed. They mm-hmm. you not. You send out a post, they're not showing it to all million. But mm-hmm. if you could pay ten thousand to a hundred thousand a month to get it to there, now that's something that's mm-hmm. also a real value in it. And I see that perspective. So I like hearing different perspectives at the end of the day. I don't think anybody's perspective is mm-hmm. wrong, but I definitely can say I agree with that. So if you could pay to get exposed to all your followers, if you have a million or even even if you have a hundred thousand, mm-hmm. instead of them showing it to two, three thousand, you're getting four thousand likes, but showing it to all now that's something also pay really to really yeah, pay to play. It's it's just yeah. like it's just like with anything. I mean, people have already programmed their mind. It's, yeah. it's hard. When you expose to something for so long, you already automatically, oh, blue check just DM Yeah, fast. Oh, blue check. Oh, let me yeah. watch his stuff. So you still are paying for a little bit more exposure because Facts. just by you having that check, mm-hmm. people might watch your content just a few seconds Faster. longer. Yeah. People no, might click your story just a little bit more. People yeah. might open your DM a little bit more with True. a blue check. Because everybody don't know. I know people right now, they have no idea that you could pay for that. Yeah. Why? The blue check. Because they're not uh, people that are, you know, business owners. Yeah, they're they not in that. Yeah, people yeah. that are buying stuff. Yeah. So they don't want people that are buying stuff to know. They want people that are business owners that are selling stuff to know, hey, listen, you purchased this. We yeah. got something for you. So it's a target audience as well. I think everybody should know that. No, that's good. Well, appreciate the insight, bro. So uh, shout out to the sponsor of this episode, my mother, my aunt. I appreciate that. Show, showing love. Um, thank you and foremost. Uh, thank you again, bro, for coming on at the end of the day. I really I appreciate it, it. Um, if y'all gain anything from this episode in any capacity, make sure you follow it. If you didn't like it, still share it. <laughs> make sure you share it with all your friends. Share it. And like I said, like this is life or death. Um, insurance, you choose. This is evolving through experience because it's no other option. This is more than a podcast. I know you was asking me that, but it's bigger than a podcast because obviously we already went into detail because look. There's no other option with this. We cover in all aspects. So, yeah, if you like something, if you rock with the episode, you see the vision with the brand, follow us at Evolving Through Experience. Also, you can check us out on our website, Project Prevail at www.evolvingthroughexperience.com. And we're going to catch y'all in the next episode. Thank y'all again. Peace. Peace.